What's going on, family? Today we're going to talk about a man who was naked in a Planet Fitness. Let's get to it! Come in. And I'll show you everything you need to know. Welcome to Claytime in Basement Podcast Show, a show like no other. Wild over the top opinions from an angry, cigar smoking, living in the basement of a house he pays on, road comic father who is technically married and understandably frustrated. Here he is, Clay Miles. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate it. Please, before we get started, like, share, tell your friends that I'm on. Tell the people that you hate that I'm on. Let everybody know Clay's taking a shit on the internet again. Anyway, <laughs> let me get to it. What's up, Jeff? What's going on, baby? How you doing? Let me get to it. Um, let's see. First off, I want to talk about daddy issues. Do you, let's, like I always talk about, or excuse me, Damaged Goods, the Damaged Goods Network. Please check us out. That's damagedgoods.lipson.com. This is one of the shows. And this is the actual website. Boil! Damaged goods. Well, dime, excuse me. Damaged goods. INC.com. That's the actual website. It has all the actual uh, shows that are on there. The network is getting bigger, as you can see. What's going on, Carol? How you doing? Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. Carol! Damaged goods. Daddy issues. Clay time. Baked and wake. Beta testing. And needless to say, so we got a bunch of new shows that are on there. It's growing, as you can see. It's becoming an amazing place to be a part of. And, of course, Clay Time in the Basement. You got mycafepress.com forward slash Clay Time in the Basement. If you want to go ahead and buy some gear, I appreciate it. Go ahead and walk around be a Clay Timer to the world, baby. To the world! That's easy for you to say. <laughs> no, it's not. I got to promote my show on the 18th coming up. If you are in D.C., please come out and see the show. It's going to be an amazing time. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you guys show, saw the show last week. Oh, hey, what's up? Are you? Well, hold on. I got to talk to Courtney in a minute. But uh, I don't know if you guys saw the show last week. But, Doc, we uh, hooked up a show. We're going to actually, me and Doc are going to do a show. Going to co-headline that mug with an, a comedy legend, your boy. But but come out to this show. Well, I'll promote that show when, once I go ahead and get all the particulars but this show is gonna be at club heaven and hell i'm gonna be your headliner it's clay time in the basement comedy show it's just gonna be me up there doing what i do right here just acting a damn fool but come and check out the show we got xavier montez jillian wills tom mango come out and see the show it's gonna be amazing we are gonna have an incredible time what's up courtney how you doing what are you saying are you contracting them Am I am I contracting? Am I contracting? <laughs> what do you mean? Like I, I ain't got no money. You think I pay anybody? I, I live in a basement. God damn it, Courtney! I'm not successful. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you like the fat doctor? Carol says thanks for including us with the fat doctor. Of course, you guys are family, just like the doc, just like the doc. But uh, actually, I got another uh, show next week. Um, that's going to be, uh, just like this, um, you know, it's going to be on Facebook a little, but it's, it's going to be a place where we just have conversations and you'll be able to see an actual just conversation. Um, doc, of course, is going to be on one of those shows next week. I'm going to have, uh, a guy at work that, uh, just a political, you know, you ever have one of those political nut just bang, just, just, just every time you say, Oh, did you see what Trump said? So I want to get this guy on and just let him just rail about whatever, you know, and if anybody else wants to be a part of that show, you don't have to come here, you don't have to come to the basement, you can do it right at your house, we'll have a conversation, and it'll be just us, we can have more than, we can have three people, we can have four all together, four people, um, we can have a conversation, so get get with me, if you want to actually do that with me, I'll be doing that once a week, um, and that's another type of little show we got, but it's more of a conversation, just talking about life and things that piss us off. How did you make out with uh, the electrolytes in your Gatorade? <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't <laughs> Hey, damage good. Fuck you, Dot. Okay, what she's talking about is I'm going to shit myself and shit everything out last week. It was because of the goddamn MCT oil. 
don't know if y'all know this. If you're trying to get healthy, like I'm trying to get in ketosis, well, I gave myself some MCT oil and holy shit. It was almost my last day at work, okay? I'll tell you a story real quick. We had a guy, uh, hope I don't know who it was. Somebody at work actually shit their pants, and there was a shit on the floor. I mean, I don't know if anybody knows who where I work. I can't really talk about it, but it's really, you know, but whatever. It's up there, you know what I mean? So there was a shit on the floor, and I was just, I felt, of course, we all laughed when we saw it, and, and uh, te- you look 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> I don't know whether to say, Thank you or fuck you, Doc. All right? God damn it, Doc. But thank you. I'm going to take it as a compliment. Thank you. I know I don't, but I'm taking it as a compliment. Fuck that shit. <laughs> but somebody took a shit, okay? I mean, literally, you could see the shit on the floor. And I felt bad as a human being because, honestly, I mean, because, honestly, if any of that, if that happened to any of us, that's the last day of fucking work, okay? You, you get up. You, you clean yourself off. God damn it. Shut the fuck up. And you clean yourself off, and then you go the fuck home for good. And you explain to your significant other, we are fucked. Just so you know, we are fucked. Okay? And, and you know, that's so. It, the, the great thing about taking a shit at work and shitting on yourself, if you explain that to your significant other, they'd understand. And if they don't understand, now, now, you got to go back to that job. Then leave that bitch. Or, or, or then leave that bastard. Well, I, I'm married to Jeff. <laughs> I'm married to Jeff. I know you're married to Jeff. <laughs> I know who you are, Dot. I know. I I watch people who who get in contact with me. Oh, my God. Let's get to the whiteboard. We already, yeah, we already like six minutes in. We ain't ain't even get to the, oh, don't forget the white. Now, this is Xavier Montez. He's going to be on the show on the 18th. A very, very funny comic. I don't know if you've seen some of the comments he makes. Sometimes he's too funny. Uh, he about to get fired. You know, he, he doesn't even get paid to be on the goddamn Clay Time, but his ass is getting ready to get fired. He about to get deleted. How do I how do I delete people out of here, out of this room? <laughs> how do I mute people? He's too funny. Fuck you. Where, where's the fuck you button? Well, right, let's get to the whiteboard. What's on the whiteboard today? Oh, I'm hyped. I don't know why I'm hyped. Oh, one step forward, two steps back, puts you in a fucking basement. God damn my life. Oh. Anyway, all right, so what's what's new? What's new with me besides take, taking the shit or the MCT or I'm, I'm done taking the MCT or I'm, I'm doing that, you know, at night, you know, because if I'm going to shit on myself, I might as well just shit, it, it, you know, down here. So I'm not doing that anymore. But I do get up and I do work it out. I'm like the oldest guy in there. And these young kids are just throwing shit around. And, I'm, and I, I literally, I pulled a muscle. Yes. Okay, was I lifting? The funniest one in the basement. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> was I lifting weights when I pulled this muscle? No, literally. I pulled a muscle walking out of the gym. How do you do that? How fucked is your life? Sometimes you ever wake up and look at yourself in the mirror and go, why did it happen? Why did you wake up? <laughs> Pull a muscle walking out. I literally just sat there and just laughed. Everybody said, what's wrong with you? I go, I just pulled a muscle. Walking out of the gym. What the fuck? You know you're old. Damn. 44 is just... I thought I thought 40 was supposed to be the new 20. This is some bullshit. How do you pull muscles? I mean, shit. Throwing your back out. Farting. Oh, shit. You see, this is bullshit. I've got food on my mouse. This is some bullshit. This is why I need to be in the fucking gym. But, uh, all right. First thing we're going to talk about, I want to go straight to this Naked Planet Fitness. Okay, this guy, this, I don't know if you guys seen this. Everybody must have seen this, but this, this is amazing. This is actually from CNN. So i probably get in trouble for showing this, but fuck it. What are they going to do? It's a stretch. Even it started you- off the, like, oh my God. It did not start off well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That started off like the shit right there, huh? Boom. Pow! She can get all this conversation. You can get take all this conversation. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> it's a stretch, even for yoga. Amazing. Your aura was so amazing. More amazing than an aura is the sight of a naked guy doing yoga at a Planet Fitness gym in Plastow, New Hampshire. 
Yeah, yeah Greg texts in and says, Naked Yoga, I hope he brought his own mat. 34-year-old Eric Stagno walked into the crowded gym, took off his clothes, and positioned himself on a yoga mat. This motherfucker, before I even let it go any further, how scary does this motherfucker look? How scary? Was it a Florida man? You know, it needs, it probably is Florida man, a Jeff, a Florida man. <laughs> I still got to get that, that, what do you call it? I, I have got to get that Florida man. I got to, if somebody can do that for me and send it to me on an MP3, and if you, and if you got to do it funny though, you got to do it with a Southern accent, Florida man. So I can, I can just hit a button and, and we'll play Florida man. Okay, we'll continue. Hold on. I have the good sense to put my clothes on before I come to the gym. Oh, fuck that. Do you see this bullshit? I put my clothes on before I go to the gym. Thank you. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I, ladies, ladies, you, you, you look at her. Why would she say that? Why the fuck would she? I put my clothes on when I go to the gym. If, if, you're, if you're interviewing this woman, are you going, thank God. I'm sorry. I mean... I, you're not supposed to judge at Planet Fitness. That's why I don't go to Planet Fitness, because I judge. I'm sorry. Because, hell, they judge me. You motherfuckers judge me. Thank God she does. I know, right? All right, we got to check her out one more time. Hold on. Let, 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 let's let her say what she needs to say. I have the good sense to put my clothes on before I come to the gym, then so should we. <laughs> yeah, because you're just so fucking sexy, that makes it funny. No, 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 no. Now, if you were fucking gorgeous, that would be funny. Like, you know, you don't need to. <laughs> but that, what the fuck? Why would you say that and looking like that? Look at the chins. I'm sorry. I hate, I hate the body shape. I'm sorry, but she started it. She shouldn't have said that. What, what spandex is a privilege, not a right? <laughs> you hear that? Spandex is a privilege, not a right. Who said that? No, that was what's his name? Sicko. What looks like Jesus? She could walk around naked anywhere. <laughs> Give him a break. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, you're right. He does. Hold on. Spandex. Let me worry. Where is it at? Spandex is a privilege, not a right. That needs to be like the 11th commandment. If, if, can we get that? Can we, can we, you know, just like the Constitution, we have amendments. We need an amendment on the 10 commandment. We need to add, add one. We need an amendment, Lord. Spandex is a privilege. It is not a right. Hey, Michelle, how you doing? <laughs> this girl right there was at, she was there at the beginning of Clay Time. Finally, she came back. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue through. I, you know me, I can't get through all this shit. Police found him naked on his knees in a yoga type position. He was charged with indecent exposure and disorderly conduct. Naked on his knees. Naked on his knees. What was he doing on his knees and naked? Looks like Charles Manson. Yes, Kurt. Yes, he does. And I, I hate you for saying that before me. God damn it. Why didn't I see that? I was looking at all that. I was Charles Manson. Perfect. Damn it, Kurt. And now you're muted too. Boop. <laughs> Good call, Kurt. Good call. Oh, Christ help us. Yeah, he does look like Jesus. Somebody else said Jesus. I think John said he, he looks like Jesus. Yeah, he does. So if he's Jesus... Can he just, you know, walk around naked? I mean, because that's what you said when you saw him, they, with his hairy ass out there, butt ass naked. Jesus! That's what you said. I, that, I, honestly, that'd be the first thing you said. Oh, Jesus Christ! You would say that. Like in The Exorcist. N naked on his knees, so hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jace. Uh, every woman here is, is, is freaking, they're all wet. Come on, ladies. He was naked on his knees. And every lady here is going, there's nothing sexy about now, 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 now. He was putting his dick, his raw dick on the mat. You, you know he was like doing yoga and shit. And it's like they had to wipe down everything. Okay, all right. But everyone's favorite part of the story, he told police he thought what he was doing was okay because he was in a judgment-free zone. Yeah, what about that? It's a judgment-free zone. Why are you judging me? He could have literally talked to that big bitch, other big, and said, Look, I ain't talking about how big you are. Leave me the fuck alone. Just because I'm naked? Shit. Oh, my God. Was this it? Wet makes me dry like a burnt toast. <laughs> burnt toast. <laughs> That's what we do here at Clay Time in the Basement. We make women dry as, as burnt toast. That's what we do. We ain't trying to go in and turn you on. Fuck that. Fitness, the judgment-free zone. Hey, 
They say judgment free, not pants free. What the, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? See, this is, this is, these are the gyms I go to with assholes like that at the gym. Where you're like, man, fuck you. I need to go to Planet Fitness. Because I see that shit. Niggas like, fuck you, man. It's bullshit. Put your shirt on. Judgment free, not pants free. This is billed as a gym for regular folks. This guy sucks cock. I'm sorry, okay? He's, uh, he looks too good. He sucks cock. I have to say something negative about him because he looks fucking amazing. Oh, hey, ladies, are you wet now? Huh? 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 <laughs> I'll leave that up there a little bit longer, see if the numbers go up. Bing, 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 bing. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. <laughs> Watching me, downward dog. You know what I mean. I can't say what I want to say, but oh, what the fuck? God damn it! I I hate the news. <laughs> I fucking hate the news. I don't know why I do this. Cause I hate the news. I hate the news. It's fucking jokes. Downward dog. The story had TV anchors practicing. Namaste. <laughs> Oh, namaste, I understand because of the yoga. Ah, you are brilliant. Sam Kinson has nothing on you. Nothing. Are you kidding me? Namaste, brilliant. No, I'm not going to stay. I'm Namago. <laughs> oh, and then he closes it with Namago. Did you get that? Namaste, Namago. Brilliant. Woo, we are rolling today. Are you kidding me? I don't know why. I don't even need to tell any jokes. This motherfucker's got it all. Namaste, namago, ooh. No, what is, what's he gonna say next? Mama say, mama say, mumakusa, fuck you. Okay, that's it. I, I... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, ladies, this next one. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. This next one uh, is a breast feeding model okay and there's not nothing wrong with breastfeeding you know and uh, you know it's 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 the juice of life and uh you know especially if you're sexy i love my fucking still behind it know what <laughs> okay this is a like i said and this is a breastfeeding model oh yeah but the problem is she is modeling while she's breastfeeding really i mean i mean don't bump bump. I mean, and she she's got a great body. Happiest day of my life. <laughs> Days of my life. <laughs> Look at this. You know, and, and you know, and and she's gonna be a good mother. I don't know, but she actually has you know headphones on her child because she wants to protect her child. You know what else protects your fucking kid? Not fucking. Putting her or him out there while you fucking breastfeed. Look at me. I'm breastfeeding. I'm I'm a good mother. Be a good mother by mistake. You know, when nobody's looking. Nobody needs to see you being a good mother. That's what makes you a good mother. I don't need to know this bullshit. He has Bluetooth. <laughs> oh, now somebody come back. No, he's got blue balls. I mean, come on. I was waiting. Come on. I was waiting. You guys will come up with that one in a minute. Yeah, well, he was hungry. Yeah, that's some bullshit. <laughs> he was hangry. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Ladies, I think breastfeeding is beautiful. I do. I think it's amazing, but I think it should be done in your in, in your house or even in public, which is fine because if you're doing it in public, you got to do it. I don't care. Whip it out. I'm fine with that. 
okay? But that right there is out of fucking control, okay? All right, I'm just saying. It's out of control. You don't do that, okay? You don't put your baby on. I mean, is he is he, is he he sucking to the beat? I mean, what, while you're walking? I mean, I mean, oh, come on. Get to the beat. Get on the beat, baby. I mean, what? This is out of control. The world is fucked. This, uh, my show shows you that we're all going to hell, okay? And I'm driving the bus. No, no kids for me. I'm a crazy cat lady. No kids for you. You're a crazy cat lady, Michelle. <laughs> oh my God, Michelle, you are great. All right, now this next one. Um, you know me. I, 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 I don't look for these type of stories, okay? But I always found them. Number out of order. <laughs> What's that designer, designer diaper? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Nine times out of ten, I don't even know if there is a designer diaper. That's how fucking broke I am. He probably wearing it. His diaper could actually, he, he could probably pay for this fucking basement. You know, probably the whole fucking house. What am I talking about? With, with just his diaper alone. Fuck, it's hot down here, family. God damn. I'm sweating. Oh, excuse me. Okay, now, this next one, like I said, I don't look for this stuff. It just fucking happens. But okay. Now, I don't know if you can see that. But right there, there's people on top of a car. And they're fucking. Out in public. Bang, bang, boom, boom. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, boom, boom. Fuck it. Okay. To me, this is just like breastfeeding. We have a place for that. Okay? There is a place for that, if you need to fuck that bad, I mean, come on. Why do you why do you think we still have these old, old telephone booths there? That's what they're for, people. Go to a telephone booth and fuck. If you need to fuck, find a telephone booth. That's what they're for. Why do you think Superman uses it? <clears throat> What's wrong with these people? I agree. I agree. What is wrong with these people? Look, over there, fuck it. Bang, 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 bang. Out there, uh, on the roof, fuck it. What's, what's this in Buffalo? I don't know. It, it better not be Buffalo. It, that's cold as shit. If it's, if it's Buffalo, he, he, he's swinging with a three-inch cock out there and all that fucking cold is all I'm saying. I mean, because that is some bullshit. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. I don't know. Where's the hammer? Is it on the, uh, go up on the other floor. Somebody go up there and stop. Stop the goddamn hammering. That's all I'm saying. Goddamn. What, what is wrong with people? Get so. Get so. Sounded like a Marine. Get so. Fucking on a car. Are you kidding me? All right. Um, now, this next person, uh, let's just say that he has to be high. He ha- he, if, if he's not. I'm, something's wrong. Stop the hammer, stop the, stop the hammer time. What well, looks like, what, well, stop and go traffic? So, yeah, I guess that's how he got it in. Like, oops, stop, go, stop, go, stop, stop, go, stop, go. I think there's more, more drilling. <laughs> oh, Terry Collins, what's up, baby? How you doing? You just get here? Okay, hey. Hey, Terry, so you know, I'm, I'm going I'm going ahead and I'm promoting all of us. Bam! Everybody's getting up. Bam, bam! Damaged goods. Daddy issues. Clean time. Needless to say, you can all find this on damagedgoodsinc.com. I will get that way to say that down <laughs> as soon as possible. But, yeah, well, thank you for coming out, Terry. I appreciate it. All right, I know you're living the dream getting on TV and shit, leaving me behind, but you on TV doing your doing your goddamn thing. <laughs> anyway, this next guy is a naked ghost hunter. This guy decided he wanted to go hunt some ghosts naked. How the fuck do I even find that? <laughs> Что там, дружище? Что там случилось? Ты экстрасенс? Да. Ничего себе. Что... What the fuck is he saying? I got caught because I got a big fucking cock and I can't fit through this. What the fuck is wrong with people? Did you find the ghost? 
okay? Because you definitely found the sun, okay? And don't turn around. I don't want to find the moon. Fuck you. What is wrong? I mean, I'm... Так а чем я трогаю? У меня же ключей нету. Ничего себе. Ничего себе. Смотри яички, чтобы но не оторвались. А? а как ты сюда залез вообще? Как ты залез сюда? Что ты там, духов ловил или что ты там ловил? А? О, смотри, выскочил. Ничего, так а что ты голый лазишь? Фамилия как? No way! I mean, shit. I'm just saying. Что там случилось? Ты экстрасенс? Ничего себе! А что случилось? Откройте за Так а чем я открою? У меня же ключей нету. Ничего себе! Ничего себе! Смотри, яички, чтобы ноги не оторвались. What is it? He's out of another, what? He's not getting out for another four hours. <laughs> That's Viagra, damn it. <laughs> How the hell did this guy not rip his dick off? I have never, ever st st stared at another man's cock, okay? But I'm sitting there going, it's gonna, rip off. it's gonna rip off. It's gonna fucking rip off. It's gonna rip off. Stop. Что ты там, духов ловил или что ты там ловил? To the fucking MCT or fuck the world. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. Uh, this next one, you're gonna love this next one. What? Well, well, hold on a sec. What are y'all saying? I've never seen. I've never stared at another man's cock, but I will broadcast one on my show. <laughs> God damn right. I'm here for your entertainment. Hey, I'm, let's go watch Clay look at Cox. <laughs> let's go watch Clay look at Cox. Clay, I know you look at Cox. As a matter of fact, I got it on tape you looking at a cock. I got it on tape you saying that you were looking at cock. Okay? Cock, 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 cock. <laughs> I'm going to be famous and somebody's, and somebody's just going to play that shit back. Now, what happened here, Clay? I'm going to... Acid. I, I that, that shit never happened. I don't remember it. I don't remember Cox in the box. <laughs> that literally sounds like a gay man like place to eat. Dude, I'm going to Cox in the box. How about you? Oh, I love Cox in the box. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you guys gotta act me, me acting stupid. Oh yeah, here. Of course. Now here we go. Now everybody's bringing it, breaking out the. Yeah. <laughs> here, this looks like a cock clay. All right. Now this next person. Um. Oh, hold on. I'm about to skip shit. Yeah. This person. This person had to be high. Uh. And and actually, Doc sent me this one. Michael Sykes, what's up, baby? How you doing? Thanks for coming out, baby chicken. <laughs> This next person, uh, Doc actually sent me this, um, and this guy fell in a bridge. He didn't fell, fall off the bridge. He fell in a bridge. I mean, I don't know what the fuck to say. He had to be high. It's something. <clears throat> now, the gate's up, but this motherfucker's still going to go, and what the fuck are you doing? Whoop! Gone. Really? Really? That's, 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 that's how we're doing it. Now... This is like a fucking Monty Python fucking uh, bit. I mean, right, literally, this, this this looks like Monty Python. Monty Python. My, blah, blah, blah. Monty Python. Jesus, me and these. Mm. 
Fuck y'all. <laughs> fuck y'all for what's coming. I'll tell you right now. You're going to make fun of me, and I know you are, and I'm going to tell y'all, fuck y'all, <laughs> before you even get it out. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Yeah. Yeah, that motherfucker doesn't need to drink and be. You know, he doesn't need to do a day. He don't need to drink and live. That motherfucker don't need to drink. How about that? Fresh squeeze. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought, too, that that bridge was going to fall on him. Hold on, let's see what happened now. What would you do? Dave May! Hold on a sec. I got to say what's up to Dave May. Dave May's in the house. Dave May's in the house. Dave May, I got another show, man, that I'll be doing uh, um, on top of Clay Time, and I want you to be one of the guests, man. So, and you you don't got to be funny. Believe, family, you don't have to be funny on this. It's just, just a conversation. And uh, we'll, we'll, you'll see how it works out if you guys want to check it out. It's going to be broadcasted live on Facebook, on YouTube. But it's a, it's another show. Somebody actually got a hold of me who likes Clay Time in the basement. And um, actually, you know, came to me with some dollars, y'all. Started throwing money. So... It's not a lot, believe me. Shit, if it was a lot, I wouldn't be out of this fucking basement. But anyway, it's going to be another show that I'm going to be doing on another type of uh, platform. But uh, if you guys want to be a part of it and you want to go ahead and just have a conversation. Sorry, I'm late, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? God damn it, Dave. You do this all the goddamn time. Yeah, what the fuck? Am I supposed to get mad at you? <laughs> this is bullshit. You're supposed to be my friend. God damn it. You know the basement. Look, a giant rat is coming up the crack. <laughs> Fuck it, Michael Sykes. Mike, big Mike. What did I see? There it is. Fuck it with me. Blotty Python. God, blight I mean, Fuck you, Jace. <laughs> God damn it. Broke her face. That was a her? Was that a her? Hold on. Let's go watch this shit again. Was that a her? I don't know. I just know that they were a dumbass. And I don't think there's a sex that goes along with that. <laughs> How high do you have to be? To, that motherfucker didn't even try to hit the base. Charlie, what? Oh, my God. How you doing? Oh, my God. I know who this is. I know who this is. How you doing? I'm not going to call you out. I know who this is. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. I remember you. I remember you. <laughs> I know you. Thank you, thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. I want to see what the fuck happened. Okay, boat still goes. That motherfucker's still in there. Lights are still going on. Is anybody going to help this motherfucker? Is anybody? I would literally go help him because just because it would be a great fucking story. Literally. Yeah, I saw the story a couple of days ago. Yeah, you saw this. <laughs> oh, yeah, Doc's the one who got me this. Doc, Doc told me about this. I went looking for it. Clay gone looking for what? Gone looking for cock out of cracks. Jesus Christ, Jace. <laughs> nasty fucking callback. It was good, though. It was good. It was nasty fucking callback. <laughs> this happened in Wisconsin? Well, shit. Where is the cheese? Where the fuck is is, is fucking Brett, Brett Favre um, when you need him? No, I guess that'd be, uh, no, what's his name? What's the, Brett Favre, he, he's all over the fucking place. No, it's the, what's his name? It ain't Brett Favre anymore. Damn it, who's the quarterback? Uh, Minnesota, uh, who the fuck, not Minnesota, Wisconsin. God damn it, the Packers. That, and ain't no fucking jokes when I say Packers. Oh, some people did help his ass. Finally, somebody, well, let me tell you something. I don't know if anybody's ever been to Wisconsin. Those those people, that that is the salt of the fucking earth. Was, people from Wisconsin, I don't know what it is. They just, they just have so much love in their heart, literally. I mean, they love they fucking love my black ass, I tell you that. <laughs> well, everyone in Wisconsin is drunk. And you know what? That is the truth. That is the truth. Oh, hold on. My little sister came out. My little sister came out. Shay Shay. What's up, Shay? How you doing? Oh, my God. You guys don't understand. Shay was it's a shit. I love Shay. She Shay's from my from my past when I was a little kid. I've known Shay since I was that big. We like grew up together and shit. And Shay Shay. Hey Shay. What was this? What? Felix, what would you say? Aaron Rodgers. Damn it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Far. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I can't even say it now. I'm this late. I can't even Aaron Rodgers. Why isn't he saving? Why isn't he out there saving people? Okay. 
There is an Aaron Rodgers now. <laughs> Hopefully that was Aaron Aaron Rodgers. Hey, Shay. Hopefully that was. Oh, that's my girl. You got to understand. That's my sis. I can say boop, 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 boop. She knows where all the bodies are buried. Shh. <laughs> Quiet, Shay. Don't you say a damn thing. She knows every bad thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, my God. Boys Club, Boys and Girls Club. Oh, my God. They have a club in Wisconsin. Comedy upstairs, guns downstairs. Yeah, Wisconsin is great. <laughs> I'm just saying, Wisconsin, I think it's has some great fucking people in Wisconsin. I used to get booked in, uh, what's it? I can't even say that. What the fuck? And Miss, I can't say any of that. Strange people. I can't say those words. I, Ryan Ryan Lander and and Miss Quash 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 Quash. What what? Ugh. Of course they're weird weird people. They can barely say their own name where they live. I mean, I'm just saying shit. I can't. Maybe you know, I'm, maybe I'm just ignorant. <laughs> oh my god. Is that a place too, Mike? Is that a place? I can't even say that. Hawk. Hod, hod dog, hod dog, hod dag, ho dag, ho dag. That sounds like what you say when you see a girl that you like. Ho dag, you know what I mean? That ho dag, you know what I mean? I'm uh, almost like uh, was it uh, what movie? Not movies that that shows that ho dar. Um, <laughs> that shit's coming back. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Oh, Dave, you know where the bodies are buried, too. Those are new bodies, Dave. <laughs> Those are new bodies. Believe me. I was there when that dude ran through the wall at work. We had a dude actually run through the wall at work. Where I worked, when, when I worked with Dave, it was literally like Animal House. I had never had so much fun at work. I, I literally ran to go to work. It was so much fun. Of course it was going to, oh, what the fuck? You motherfuckers are going. No, it's not a, no, it's not a thing. What? Hold on. I was just in Wisconsin. Odell, can you pronounce that one, Clay? Uh, no. <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, I can't pronounce that one. How about that, fucker? <laughs> By the way, I know you're still in the basement talking about Cox. <laughs> when I moved to Montana and I really got a, uh, I really got attacked by a cock. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on a sec, hold on, Michelle, you're talking about an animal, okay, or maybe a dick that's so big that you call it an animal, but which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the animal, are you talking, or, or, or maybe a huge fucking cock that you, that's like a fucking animal, because either way, that is, that, that, that's when cocks attack, they need to actually make one of those shows, when cocks attack. What's, what's this, the, a mythical beast? Like, oh my God, would you guys stop writing these names? You know how ignorant I am. I am I'm going to stop reading the shit. <laughs> See, Mike's a comic, and he's hilarious. And that's the reason why he keeps writing these fucking names, because he wants to see if I can pronounce it. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm just not going to pick on you. I'm going to be like the teacher. You know, when, you, when you're with the smart kid in the class, and the teacher don't pick on you because the teacher thinks this motherfucker might be smarter than me. Believe me, I wasn't that dude. But that's what Mike keeps trying to do, writing shit. Hold on. Look, grabbing dictionaries and shit. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be able to say this word. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> it was huge. Oh, it was an animal. Okay, okay, it was an animal. Okay, hold on. Let me put this. Let me put So I guess put it's huge. Animal. Okay, it was an animal. Okay. Animal and it was huge. I didn't I'm sorry that I put it was huge first because these dumbasses are gonna say it was a cock and it was huge. Ha I remember that shit. They were playing yeah, they were playing football and somebody put their shoulder through him and yeah, and yeah, and he went through the drywall. Yeah. Guy went through the a fucking wall at work, dude. He I love this dude. He, kind of overweight dude. And we were doing something stupid like playing football. Somebody hit him full speed, pow, and he just went tumbling. I was like, I thought he was joking, like pretending to be out of control. And this motherfucker hit the wall and went, pow, just went straight through it. I mean, 
and the only thing we we didn't get in trouble, but the the our boss saw it and said you better figure out a way to put something to cover that shit up. So we we put a huge American flag over the hole in the wall. Ah, oh, God, that place. I still remember that place. That was a gr- great place to. All right, Mike. What, what's what's this? I can't click on it. I wish I could to go ahead and uh, show you everybody what the fuck this is. But you got to tell me. Everybody, go, go. Somebody, go look at it and tell me if it's funny. If I should put it um on here, I'll put it on here next week. All right, this next one. Um, I I don't even remember what this is, but uh, it's a bad thief. This whoever this guy is, he's a bad thief. But uh, let, let's let's check this out. Yeah, that was Adam. Oh, look. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, grocery store. Let me explain something to (sighs) y'all. If you're gonna go robbing something, someone, okay, go for money, okay? What the fuck can you do? Are you gonna be on the side of the street, you know, slinging ham? You know, slices of ham. I got this ham. Got this ham, baby. Got this ham. Got this ham. And then they got you on tape, and now you're going to be, you know, on clay time. And you're going to be seen by, what, we got seven people. And now you are known all over the... (laughs) And now you are known all over the basement. Everyone in the basement knows you, is all I'm saying. Just over some fucking ham. They're they're doing that shit. (laughs) They be doing that shit. See, Carol, now, Carol, you're telling your business. You're telling your business, Carol, because that's ghetto. Carol, Carol, either you used to live in the ghetto or you're in the ghetto. Because that's some ghetto shit. I've seen that. Not from my friends. (laughs) I'm from Greenwich, Connecticut. I would love to tell you I grew up in the ghetto. But I saw the shit on TV. I've seen the ghetto. (laughs) The closest thing to ghetto, if Shay's still in the room, the closest thing to a ghetto in my neighborhood was Armstrong Court. Now, that was the closest. That was when I, I didn't go to Armstrong Court, okay? I was like, shit, I can go ahead and watch The Wire at at my house. Why am I going to go to Armstrong Court? I can see the shit on, oh, somebody just gave me some money. Bam, thank you. I don't know how much it is, but I appreciate it. (laughs) Somebody hooked me up. Whoa, Joey DeLuca. What, you looking for lunchtime? (laughs) Ha, ha, ha. Is that how you're going to sell sell the drugs? Psst. You're looking for some lunch meat? Hey, you're looking for some lunch meat? Got that lunch meat? Oh, okay. Joey DeLuca. Hold on. Joey DeLuca. This guy was the first actual comedian that I've ever dealt with when I was a little kid. F, F that noise. Well, why did you say fuck? <laughs> yeah, we got to be PG-13 here at Playtime. We don't want to play. Don't you be writing fucking bullshit. I don't want to see the word fuck. That's some bullshit. Watch that shit. Keep that fucking shit clean. I'm sick of this shit. Oh, God damn, Mike. I ain't saying the word. Motherfucker Wilbur Peck. Oh, my God. Wilbur Peck wasn't worse than Armstrong Court. Fuck that noise. You know, was it? Fuck that noise. You know how much oranges go for on the street? (laughs) Joey DeLuca. Wilbur Peck was worse. No, it was not. And, And where's Shay at? Shaking a uh, attest to this. Shaking a test that Wilbur Peck was not worse than Armstrong Court. I am sorry. Now we're going to have to get into an argument. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Slanging fruit. Literally, slanging fruit. What? I got some ham. Good quality shit. Not that Oscar Mayer crap. <laughs> we got meat drug dealers in the house. I hear you. Normally, when I'm trying to go ahead and sell some meat, it's in my pants. Bam! There it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn it. Damn it, Mike. What's, I don't even know what that word is. You know I'm ignorant. What are you doing? Was it Nutella and gummy bears? That shit was, that shit was like crack. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Mike, that, Mike you're showing you ghetto. You're showing your, you're showing your ghetto. I love it. I love it, Mike. Showing your ghetto. All right, now this next motherfucker. Okay. You want to talk about somebody who needs to be shot by the police? I'm just saying, there's there's people that do need to be shoot shot 
by the police. I'm sorry. They need to be shot by the police. I'm sorry. I'm taking a side. But this motherfucker needed to be shot by the police. Impersonating a cop, okay? And the reason he needs to be shot is because he pulled over a cop. Impersonating a cop. Roads this morning. You know, no one ever wants to see those flashing lights in your rearview mirror during the commute. But if you are getting pulled over by a vehicle like this, you pretty much... I'd fuck her. How about y'all? Bam! Oh, okay, I'm sorry. We we're, in, we're in the story. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I'll go back. Much assume it's an officer, not an impersonator, right? Well, that does happen. And ABC 15's John Trueweiler, he's live along the 51 for us this morning. Uh, John, what happened in this particular case you're following? Well, Danielle, this is a case of a guy who attempted to pull over the wrong car. He did pull over the wrong car. An unmarked real police car we've got a dumb ass are you kidding me okay i don't know are we are we watching too many fucking uh superhero movies where we think we can do that shit where we go what? there's too many vigilantes out here are you kidding me i'm waiting for somebody to be dressed like batman i'm sorry i'm gonna kick his ass just to be able to be on clay time honestly i'm trying i'm trying to become famous because I need nine people to know my name. <laughs> oh, what was this? Needless to say, in the house. Oh, hold on a sec. Craig is in the house from Needless to Say. You guys, I, I, I promoted your show, Craig. I promoted y'all. Thank you for coming out. I promoted you guys. Damage Good Network. Please check these guys out. Like I said, check. we have a podcast, all kind of shit. Oh, beautiful shit going on. Okay, hold on. I'll go back. <laughs> He's fucked. Got that meat. We still on that shit? We still on that shit, Mike? I love you motherfuckers. It's like 15 minutes later. Got that meat, y'all. Got that meat. <clears throat> Fake cop. Fake cop lives matter. Damn it, Kurt. You're hot. You're hot today. You're hot, Kurt. I love it. This is awesome. <laughs> Fake cop lives matter. Hashtag fake cop lives matter. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll play the rest of it. I'll play the rest of it. Bug shot for you this morning. We can show it to you. This on your screen is... They kicked his ass. Look at that shit. Motherfucker trying to take a picture like The Rock. Why is his, why is his eyebrow a little bit higher on the right side? Not because he wants it to be. That's how they whooped his ass. I am sorry. I mean, shit. Hold on. What the fuck are y'all saying over here? Psst. Look at this month, da, 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 maybe the cyclist in Wisconsin wanted some kibasa. Is that kibasa? Is that what maybe the, maybe the cyclist in Wisconsin wanted some kibasa? You motherfuckers writing these fucking big ass words. If I was intelligent, I wouldn't be in this fucking basement, fuckers. <laughs> hey, Mike, you got any? God damn it! What the fuck is that? J J I ain't even gonna put that on the goddamn screen. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll go back. I'll go back. The guy accused of pulling over the wrong vehicle. DPS here saying that Matthew Disbro was on State Row 51 when he tried to pull over a yellow Mustang. There's only one problem with that. Turns out that Mustang, an unmarked DPS vehicle with two troopers inside of it. DPS. Okay, they said the motherfucker was yellow. Why are they showing this this black fucking car? What man? That guy has what? Has as much luck as a, as a one-legged man in an asshole kicking contest. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, what, well, hold on. I gotta see what Jay said. He looks like a bad guy from a, a Bond movie. <laughs> no, because they had intelligence. Uh, they had a lot of intelligence. Says this guy turned on red and blue flashing lights in his car, and when troopers didn't pull over, Disbro pulled up alongside them, began yelling at them, waving his hands at those troopers. Then the real troopers stepped in. They turned on their lights, pulled Disbro over, and arrested him. You know what would be the best thing? in this story if the cops turned out to be black. Oh. <laughs> How awesome would that be? Hey, hey, pull your ass over. Pull your ass over. You see me driving it. You see the lights, motherfucker. And the cops like, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I needed this today. I am going to beat down this dude. You got to kick. What? You got to kick. What? You got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. God damn, I need glasses. That's a problem right there. I need, I am getting old. 44, I am losing it.
Damn it, I used to have Okay, authorities believe there could actually be more victims out there, more people who were pulled over by Disbro and his black Dodge Charger. You see his picture and the car. On oh, okay, your... that's his car that he used. Okay, okay. All right, I understand now. Yeah, now, understand, do you hear what he just said? That other people probably got pulled over. Family, this is what we need to do. We need to go to Arizona and claim that we got pulled over. Now, I'm black, so it'll work for me. So, <laughs> this is bullshit, and we should all sue and get me out of the fucking basement. What's it? Yellow, black, potato. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jace, stupid. What, what you say? I wonder if he can pass, what? Pass as a bald, what? As a bad guy in the next Rocky movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he shouldn't. His name is <laughs> this bro. His name is this bro. Uh, he pimped his ride. Yeah, he did. He wanted to look like a fucking cop. This motherfucker just got, like I said, man, this is the closest thing that we have to Batman. He is the closest thing we have right now to Batman. A vigilante. Motherfuckers, these superhero movies are out and they're making people think that they can go fight crime and, and they need to get shot. This bro right here. This bro right here. <laughs> oh my God. In there, they say if you recognize this man or this car, if you had ever been pulled over by this person, they actually want to hear from you. I got Anna pulled over. Yell. I got pulled over by him. I did. What do you do when you get pulled over? Well, there are some tips that we have for you this morning in case you ever sense it not to be legitimate. If you ever sense maybe you're pulled over by a fake cop like this situation we're talking about this morning, we'll break down some of that. We'll see you back out here in a little bit. We're live. Oh, bullshit. We need to, I need to know now. I, don't, I ain't coming back at 11, motherfucker. What do I do if I get pulled over by a fake cop? Do I smack him in the face with my cock? Pop. Yeah, right in front of my house. Exactly, Carol. Thank you for calling back to uh, an actual story that happened. I got pulled over walking out of my fucking house. That's right. Can I, can, was it him? Was he the fucking cop that did it? Maybe he's watching Clay Time right now. Somebody, somebody's actually writing. Thank you for sending a couple of dollars. I appreciate it. God damn. <laughs> oh, damn. This motherfucker wrote a book. God damn, Michelle. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? I Topics for Clay Time, Jesus, cock, meat, drunk, cycle lady, or <laughs> Okay, Michelle's a stenographer. I, I... <laughs> so what's next? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, the next one is, uh, this person is, uh, what is this, working at the beach. I don't even remember what this is. I don't remember. What is this? Do you really think he's going to break it down for us? <laughs> I need him to, Kurt. I need him to. Dude, you weren't even in your car. I know. I wasn't even in the car. How the fuck do you get pulled over with no car? Jesus Christ. Walking while black. You can't do that. What you doing? Oh, we have to laugh at the ignorance. We have to laugh at the ignorance because it will just get you mad. So laugh at it. I don't know what this fuck this next one is. Let's just jump into it. it says working at the beach. I don't know what. Hot and humid days like today, Rhode Island's beaches usually pretty packed. Mm -hmm. So instead of holding her office hours at the state house today, Governor Raimondo. Oh, what's that? How's that diet going? Hope hope the ass is okay. Damn it, Craig. <laughs> Sometimes I hate that people watch the show. Damn it, my ass is okay. <laughs> no, it ain't. It's still fucking burning. But fuck you, Craig. <laughs> fuck you, Craig. I feel, I feel like we're in the movie Friday now. Fuck you, Craig. Oh, what's up, Marcus? How you doing? Walking while black. <laughs> Standing. <laughs> Hashtag stand still. Hashtag I, I wasn't walking. <laughs> 
I like that shit. What do you do? What you doing? What you doing? I wasn't doing that. You was walking. I I was not walking. I wasn't even walking. I wasn't blinking. I'm not even talking right now. Sell him some meat. <laughs> I love it. Michael can't get rid of that milk, that meat shit. Fuck that. Motherfucker buying meat. Selling meat off. We need to do a podcast together. I know, right? Yeah, we do. We do need to do a podcast together. We need to. Okay. All right. Now, this, okay, I know what this is now. This woman is, uh, she decided, um, I think she's the mayor or something, whatever, but she decided, fuck it. It's too beautiful outside. I'm going to be the mayor or the governor at the beach. That's, this motherfucker moved her office to the goddamn beach. You want to talk about, fuck it, that's, that's a G right there. The days like today, Rhode Island's beaches usually pretty packed. Mm -hmm. So instead of holding her office hours at the State House today, Governor Raimondo is taking her work to the shore. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald is live at Scarborough Beach in Narragansett with the latest. I'd fuck her. Okay. All right. Let's, let's go ahead. That's right, Danielle and Patrick. The governor's first office hours of the summer will be begin here in just a few hours at noon here at Scarborough Beach in Narragansett. And Governor Gina Raimondo says that she's looking forward to hearing directly from Rhode Islanders at one of the state's most... Oh, that's bullshit. You don't want to hear from people. You didn't go to the beach to hear from people, okay? You didn't go to the beach to hear from... You went to the beach to fucking lay your ass out, and she better be fine and, and be in a fucking bikini and go, God damn, do you see the governor? Did you see the ass on the governor? Did you ever think in your life you would say that? That's why I love the Me Too movement. Because now these ladies are going to get jobs like that. And they're going to go out and do this type of shit. And be in bikinis and be fucking beautiful. And I'm like, Me Too! Me Too! Uh, that's why I love the movement. I love it. Such a diverse news crew. <laughs> Kurt, you're on. You're on it, Kurt. You're on it. You're knocking me out, man. I love it. I really thought you were playing <laughs> playing beach, please. <laughs> beach, please. <laughs> oh, let me before I go any further. So you guys know, Marcus Brown is one of the funniest comics that I know. Him, Michael Sykes. I don't know. All the great comics from DC are coming out to my show and and ruining it and being funnier than me. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of this basement, y'all. Come on. What are you? I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live, y'all. I'm live. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll get back to the bit. We'll get back to the beach. We'll get back to the beach. Hot days like today, Rhode Island's beaches usually pretty packed. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. A few shit. hours at yeah. noon Ooh. here at Scarborough Beach in Narragansett. Hey, and Governor Gina Raimondo says that she's looking forward to hearing directly from Rhode Islanders at one of the state's most popular destinations. Also on hand today, the Office of Constituent Services to connect residents with various services. Now again, this is the first of three office hours of events this summer. This next, the next event will be held next Monday. July 23rd at East Matuna Beach. And Why South are we King's so far from the ass? Why? Okay, this has got to be at least 8, 9 o'clock at night, okay? I will put the children in the uh, in another room. What am I talking about? I'm in the basement. There's nobody around. It's nothing but me and my cock. Where are the booty at? And then on Friday, August 3rd at Lincoln Woods State Park. Why are we Today's so events far? will also include the signing of an... I don't believe we're at the beach, okay? I believe that that might be a... What do you call? An ant farm. Okay, this is too far away from the beach. I don't believe you. Executive order relating to single-use plastics. We will have more on that coming up at 6:45. Bullshit! That's all you gave me? I fucking gave you all that time just like so a what's that? What would you say, Mike? Can we have a government outside today? <laughs> hey, Mike. Uh, Trump ain't going outside. <laughs> he ain't outside if you motherfuckers to throw shit at him. I'm just letting y'all right now. That ain't happening. All right. That ain't fucking happening. All right. Damn. I, shit. I did an hour. But okay. I got one more thing and then, I, and then I'm done. <laughs> I got one more thing and then I'm done. Clay for president. Exactly. Goddamn right. Put me in there. Fuck. I'm ignorant. Fuck. <clears throat> and you know what? I will literally tell the truth about the different women going to come up. Clay did this. Clay did that. And I'll be like, yep. Yep, yep, and I do it again. Oh my God! Turn around, turn around. I'm the president. You see the ass on her? Yes. 
Me too. Okay, now. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh. Uh, okay, this next one is a police coin flip. Okay, this person got pulled over by the cops and they decided to go ahead and give them a coin. Okay, I, yeah. Okay. Late for work. You know how fast you were just going, ma'am? Police in Roswell, Georgia, pulled Sarah Webb over for speeding in April. You think driving that fast on a wet road is a smart idea? What happened next was a surprise. Unbeknownst to Sarah Webb, the officer could either let her go or arrest her because they didn't have speed detection. Have a seat for me. Choosing to arrest her by the flip of a coin on a phone app. Are you fucking kidding me? A flip? of a coin <laughs> thanks Greg <laughs> Shit, <I'm all> clay. <laughs> a flip of a coin on a coin app that's how you're gonna put me in jail one cop wanted heads over one one wanted tails oh my god yes you're right there was a man and there was a woman. You were damn right. One of them wanted head and one of them wanted tails. Yes, no question. What kind of bullshit is this? I mean, this is this right there is is your is your tax dollars at work, and and honestly, this is fucking hilarious. But I this should be in a movie. This shouldn't be real. And honestly, this is why ignorant people like me are not policemen because I realize that I'm ignorant and I can't walk around with that much power. You're gonna give me. A billy club and a gun and, and, and a fucking uniform that says, shut the fuck up. I can do what the fuck I want. I, as you can see, because you keep coming back to Clay time, I'm too ignorant for that shit. So if you know that about yourself, don't become a cop. Because you're going to play fucking games like this. A head, R tail. Okay. <laughs> this is tail, right? Yeah. yeah. This week, prosecutors who saw the body camera video dropped all charges. Sarah Webb. Damn, she was kind of fine walking up in there. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta move this shit back. This is Clay time in the basement. I, I might have to hold on a sec. Speaking of nobody watching, body camera video dropped all charges. Sarah Webb didn't even know about the coin toss until Atlanta's NBC 11 Alive told her. Wow. These people really put my freedom in the hands of a coin flip. Ross. Well, wow, you you just figured that out. Well, I mean, you literally just figured that out. She told you that she was flipping a coin, and you just figured that out. Her ass was drunk. She should have been arrested any goddamn way. What? Oh, oh, hold on. Let me see what you. Hold on. You guys are saying your tax dollars, <laughs> your tax dollars at work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Dave says, "What the fuck?" I agree. What, they couldn't afford a taser? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's see what Marcus says. At least two, what? At least two are, are, three, are three. Best out of seven. <laughs> two out of three. Oh, two out of, okay. Two out of three are best of seven series. Yeah, exactly. Why's it got to be one flip? This is bullshit. This side, I get it. <laughs> oh, you, you suck, Mike. God damn it, that's the joke right there. This side's I get heads. This side's I get tails. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. You're about to be muted. This that was beautiful. God damn it, that was awesome. This side's I get heads. <laughs> Motherfucker. That was awesome. Sometimes I'm jealous, and I'm definitely jealous of that one. Roswell, Area 51. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? What the fuck? Where do I find this shit? I don't. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? God wants me to uh, expose this shit. He must, cause uh, this is some bull. <gasps> fucking Chucky! Fucking Chucky! Fucking Chucky, man! Fucking Chucky! Fucking Chucky! I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. All right, family, I'm about to get out of here. Before I go, you can check out this podcast. This show to right now will be live um, or I should be, be put out uh, sometime tonight. And you guys, if you want to listen to it again when you go to work, whatever, whatever, it'll be on iTunes, Google Play, 
Laughable, Stitcher, TuneIn, all the rest of that stuff. <clears throat> and you can also check out, like I said, my boys at Damaged Goods. And um, please check out all my boys right here, boys and girls. Needless to say, beta testing, uh, baked, baked and waked. Of course, clay time in the basement. You can find all this stuff at DamagedGoodsInc.com. You can find all them. That's my family right there. Got me into this. And of course, bam, I got to go ahead and pump myself up. Burr, burr, burr. Hold on. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Great show. <laughs> Thanks, Kurt. I appreciate it, man. You were awesome today, man. Fucking awesome. Oh, oh, Clay. Man, you motherfuckers are stupid. You guys won't stop. I love it. You motherfuckers. Oh, thanks, Craig. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Of course, again, I got to go ahead and pump up my merch. Get that merch. Cafepress.com forward slash playtime in the basement. Also, my show, I got to, like I said, on the 18th, I will be doing a show headlining. I call it the Clay Time in the Basement Show because I'm going to do some ignorant shit that I've done on the show, at the show. So, Come on, check it out. It's on the 18th of Club Heaven and Hell in D.C. Check it out. Thank you guys for coming out. Man, I love you guys. You guys have always made my day. I literally, oh, man, thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. Thank you, Carol. You know I love you, Carol. You know I love you, Carol. That's my biggest fan right there. Carol, that's Carol. That's Carol. Love Carol. But uh, thank you guys for coming out. I love you guys. And like I said, as you can see, I got a tip jar. People have been tipping me. Thank you. You're making the show better. Maybe I might get out of this white shirt. Maybe I'll come in with a nice shirt. Now, bam, somebody gave me a couple of dollars, y'all. Yes, eh, now I'm popping colors. Well done, Clay. Always blast hanging out with everyone on here. Thanks, Chase, man. You've been outstanding as usual. You guys help make the show. Just so you know, it ain't just me. It's you, and I love y'all. And I am out, and I love you. And I press the button. I don't know why it's not working. It needs to stop. It needs to go ahead and stop because I look like a fucking idiot. So now it's time to put out your cigars, walk back in your homes, put those destructive opinions back in your emotional lockboxes, and put your politically correct mask back on. Plausible denial is recommended, and good alibis are suggested. If called upon to testify in a confessional hearing, I don't know you, and you don't know me. If walking those fine lines appeals to you, find him on Twitter, at Clay T Basement, and Facebook page, Clay Time in Basement Podcast Show. Thanks for listening. Go take a bath. You need to wash this off. I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. It's on a Where's the hammer? It's on a is it on the? Go up on the other. floor.